Good morning, everyone. It's uh, October the 29th, 2023. Um, I um, want to talk about uh, something today that's um, come out on Facebook, and it's blowing up at the moment because of what's happening with the uh, situation with uh, Buffy St. Marie, as we all know, our famous singer from the early 70s, and how they're persecuting her. The um, people are totally impersonating her, which is something that we've been happening to all of us, whether we're mixed or not, or whether we can prove that we're native or not. It's something that's been coming for a long time. Now it's coming for a head, and it's hit, unfortunately, Buffy St. Marie at this point. And um, it's the post that I want to read to you today is from uh, Derek Nipponak's post. He is chief at the Minologi B. Uh, Anishinaabe and in brackets Pine Creek Nation where I'm not sure where that is but uh, this is his statement and um, I think it's worth reading to everyone because it is blowing up on Facebook right now. I've often been reminded that the Western world in all of its processes, procedures, scientific methods and temporal uh, linear perspectives leaves no room for the imagination nor the beautiful uh, miracles that bring light and color to the Anishinaabe way of existing in the world. There is no room left for spirit in the way of thinking. <clears throat> Investigating the paper in the ugly gray buildings of ugly gray colonial systems run by black and white thinkers will rob anyone of the possibility of finding something colorful and amazing in the world. It's been said that the rainbow warrior would bring light back to the world that we would see the rise of a nationhood of humanity. I'm good with that. I'm hopeful for, oh, hopeful for that. It will, will, it will help put an end to the war against color and spirit. And of course, he included a picture of Buffy St. Marie. And of course, when I talked to you uh, the, in my last video, that was on um, my girlfriend, uh, Debbie, uh, Deborah Payette, Blue Star Seal, her native name. And that was on her Korean Ojibwe teachings. Well, what I want to express is that uh, we all have to get together. We have to start building bridges, not walls. And it doesn't matter what color, what race we are. It doesn't matter if we're registered, unregistered. It was what Grandfather William Commandant taught us. It was coming from the heart. We all have to start working and believing in one heart. We all have to, have to come from that one heart. And that's why uh, even when you see the uh, Americans put their hand over their chest, like we do, coming from one heart, when they sing their national anthem, and even they forget that their constitution also came with the help of the Anishinaabe people, their own Anishinaabe people from the United States. So we are, we're really all in this one heart together. We're one humanity, no matter what we are or where we come from. We're all one humanity. That's why even the homeless people, they all come. They're all part of this humanity, too. And we're not dealing with this in a, in a correct way. But it was beautiful to hear this. And it just I think uh, my teachings are coming out at, at a good time, too, that we're in this war. And it's a war against ourselves. And it's destroying us. It's eating us up inside. And this is what uh, colonialism is all about, dividing and conquering and separating us. And we should not be separated. And unfortunately, it's still going on today. And I've seen it in, in many different ways. And uh, like everyone else um, here in Ottawa, I've been in many, walked in many of the protests on our streets uh, with the Indigenous people. And it's always been very calm, very quiet. We haven't caused any trouble. We go up to the Parliament Hill, we do our demonstration, and we come back out. But I remember just prior to the uh, um, pandemic hitting the last couple of uh, marches that I was in, uh, we were being warned that um, there was something happening. There was people that were trying to get into our marches, to take over our marches, to get their message across. And this was just a, a warning. And then, of course, the pandemic hit. And those people who were on the edge before, before the pandemic uh, have gone over the edge after the pandemic. So... This is why we're seeing an uptick in the violence. So I don't discourage the protests here at all or anywhere around the world. 
but they must be peaceful because you do not get anywhere with violence. We must have peaceful protests, but we do have the right to protest, but they must be peaceful protests. So, and we must come together. And this is why I'm bringing some of the teachings that I, forward, and I'll probably be bringing more teachings that I, I'm aware of forward. But this is the turmoil that we're in today. And this is why we're here as the Rainbow Warriors. And the rest of us need to wake up we need to understand why we're here, because we are here to bring the balance of the, all the, the four main races together. We are to bring humanity together. That was prophesized uh, thousands of years ago, before we were even born. And again, I will state that when you want to look uh, for other religions and common um, denominators within these religions, again, the Bible has stated there is going to be a great battle on earth before the final peace comes and we say it too in our own prophecies but just in a different way we're going through that right now and what we call well some people call them the seven prophecies we refer to them as the seven fires we are in the end uh, the seventh fire right now and the eighth fire is when we are going to find that peace finally in the world so we all say things we're all together we're all together this we all have similar beliefs and if you want to go even further uh, because of what's happening with the Muslims and that, I'll speak in something on the Quran. And it's not bad. Actually, it's quite good. I was very surprised. I talked to a gentleman who was Muslim, and he said, well, you know, uh, Muhammad, our Prophet Muhammad, actually met Jesus at one point in his lifetime, but he wasn't called Muhammad at that time. He had a different name. So he was doing some of the good teachings that, uh, that Jesus had passed on to him. And I said, well, how do you prove that? And he said, well, all you have to do is in your first testament, in the Christian first testament, not our second testament, but he's mentioned by his other name in the first testament. So perhaps we need somebody who knows something about the Bible to go look that up and realize we do possibly have something very much in common, that Jesus spoke to Muhammad. So he was... I don't see him as being a terrible, terrible man, but we have these terrible factions that are coming in, these fringe groups that are coming in that want to terrorize, that want to take over. That's what's happening. Where we, this is, And yet this is what our prophecies are saying. This is why we're all here, is to make peace with one another. So no matter what we do, I think it's very important that we remember whatever we do in this life or to try and correct things, we must do it peacefully. So my message is still all about peace. And this is and building bridges and this is what I'm doing I'm talking to many people about building bridges and how do we build bridges so and it's both in um, all the different cultures we need to bri bridge those building we need to build those bridges between our all our relations as we call them because all our relations are is all humanity on earth here so we must start building those bridges but this is just a short little shorter video today but I just wanted to bring that important message up and I think Buffy St. Marie is maybe going to be our leader in this because the, she's the way she's getting pounced on this right now. So everyone must really be careful of what they say and do against other people. So we're all in this together. And again, thank you for listening to me. I shall talk to you again soon. You have a good day. Be safe. Be aware of your surroundings. And have a great day. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.